Good morning, my friends. Today we are in a small apartment. It's a one bedroom apartment with a little kitchen in Milan. Yes, we are in Milan and we are going to stay here another week. Hopefully after this week, we will be able to go back to the UK. I missed the house. I missed the walks on the beach with the girls. Uh, and I think I have a little bit enough of traveling. Anyway, we are lucky. We are staying in a lovely place. It's really super modern. And now I'm going to give you a tour of this lovely one bedroom apartment right in the center of me. As you walk in from the door, you have a little kitchenette here on the right hand side. As you can see, it's very stylish, all black with cupboards at the bottom and open shelving on the top. So they provide with a um, toaster and then they also leave you some uh, Kellogg's, uh, there were some uh, jams uh, and uh, biscuits, um, uh, coffee pots, uh, the water is mine. They also left some glasses uh, with a cooler um, bucket uh, if anyone wants to have some champagne, I suppose, or some wine. And then all those stuff, it's uh, some salt, uh, agave nectar, that's uh, from uh, me that I brought uh, um, for uh, cooking. There is uh, some of my cutleries, uh, soap, and then that's the microwave with everything you need to cook in the microwave. Then we have a kettle, a coffee machine, that's uh, the girls' bowls uh, with some cutleries my coffee mug i take it with me everywhere i bought the washing up liquid my washing up gloves and then i wanted to show you but unfortunately i have already eaten it um cornetto vegan that's a italian croissant um, that is really really lovely there were two in the box and I have eaten them all uh, yesterday evening as my dessert. They're really, really nice. And these are some mini fette biscottate. They are basically smaller, a crunchy sweet bread with already chocolate on them. And this is Molino Bianco, it's an Italian brand. If you have never tried them and you have the opportunity, to try them well they're really really nice they look like um, this you see they're very small little uh, bite size and then there there is some bread to dry because um, i want the girl to crunch on something and soft bread is not good for the girls but when it's really hard and dry then they enjoy munching on that so is there to dry and then, so when you come in, I leave my boots there. I've got some slippers provided by the place here. And then here we've got a big cupboard. And in this cupboard, that's very all very stylish and very modern uh, style. So this is floor to ceiling cupboard. There are some Easter eggs that now I'm going to open with you to see the present that there are inside. I've got my handbag, a spare harness and lids for the girls with some gloves. Sorry for the sirens if you can hear them but we are in the center of Milan and there is a lot of noise. Here I keep all the food for me and the girls uh, to have in the next days. We will be staying here. There is some toilet rolls as well, some couscous tea and um, choose for the girls uh, because we are going to doggy daycare um, every day for a couple of hours and there is a very good trainer who um, put the importance uh, of the dogs to chew it's very very important that the dogs have always something to chew i try to choose the most healthy chew for them but I don't think any of this is really healthy. Anyway, I was about to tell you about Italian tea. This is decaffeinated tea. 
it's um, unbelievably weak Italian tea so I usually use three of these tea bags every time I have um, I make my tea and it's still very very weak so if you have the opportunity to travel to the UK make a, a really huge purchase of tea because tea in the UK is really really good then um, at the supermarket I also bought the, this um, chocolate thing I have still to try um, I always try to buy products that have not milk uh, and try because it's not always easy to find them I've got some olive oil some soy milk um, and then uh, at the bottom I've got some of my stuff and bags with other things we've been traveling for a month now and so what I wanted to show you today is how Italians uh, celebrate Easter and these are some typical Easter eggs I grew I grew up with so I'm going to show them to you and this I have put all the Easter egg on the table and let me finish the apartment tour and then uh, we can open together all the Easter eggs uh, I'm very curious uh, to show you how they are so here in the corner we've got water for the girls uh, and they harnesses as soon as they come in i took them off them we are walking three four times per day since we are in an apartment i have to make sure they always have enough walks there is a little uh, lovely living room area which is here with a big tv which i've never used because i'm not used to watch tv and I really don't know how to use um, a remote control. Anyway, Laia find this sofa bed very comfortable. Yes, this uh, stylish uh, side table opens up cleverly like that. And so it becomes a little bit bigger and you can put something in here and then close it. It's quite clever like the idea it's very modern all the decoration is modern and stylish this is one of the girls beds because on the floor there are um, heating panels um, it's too hot for the girls so I have rinsed Molly with fresh water and um, to cool her down after the walk now the heating seems to be hot off but otherwise she would be up on the sofa um, because it's a bit cooler and then we enter from here there is um, a sliding door as you can see like that to divide the living room from the bedroom and um, we got a lovely pair, pair um, chair or anyway I'm not sure how you call it in English but it's soft uh, something to sit on this is the big big bed it's a lovely big bedroom with two side tables there is another girl bed although sh they won't stay there because it's too hot on the floor and then this is a very big mirror so you can uh, get dressed in the morning very easily and see your outfit nice very practical good idea to put a long mirror on uh, these um, big wardrobes, I was thinking maybe I should do the same with the girls' bedroom now that we have the new wardrobes. If you have seen my videos when I made, uh, I redecorated the girls' bedroom, I still have one of the wardrobes which doesn't have a door and I think maybe I should buy a mirror door so it is practical. When you wake up in the morning, you get dressed, at least you can see your um, silhouette or how you look and the wardrobes are very big and well furnished as you can see there is uh, everything for two people although i'm here by myself you've got plenty of space you've got another spare duvet although it's really really hot in here is central heating so you can't even regulate the temperature but hey we have to open the window if we are too hot and then in here we've got the bathroom now forgive me for the towel on the floor is the one i have used to 
cool down molly after our walk. This is a super modern shower with a rain shower head. This that looks like marble, in the reality it's a plastic thing, it's a plastic panel all um, uh, along the shower. And then if you can see this finishing of the tabs, they're very thin, very stylish. I love the glass shelves here. These are the products that they have left. And then look at the bidet, bidet top as, as well. It's got very thin, very stylish top. And um, the sink has got like the plug, it's white, has the sink, and they have this matte, white matte color, which is different from the usual one, would be uh, like porcelain, it would be bright, and this is matte. You can see the bed and toilet, they are matte white, which I had not seen before. Again, we've got a big, big mirror here, and we have this uh, glass shelf with all my products. And again, these are a mouthwash and then there is a conditioner, shampoo and shower gel. And that's it. That's uh, the smaller shower room. And now let's go and open the Easter eggs. Oh, you may want to see the view, although it's not really nice. So there is a big, big crossroad as you can see this is Milan um, Citta Studi is in that direction over there um, Citta Studi is where um, universities are and a big big hospital let's open the Easter eggs my dear friends I haven't had much time to edit this week and uh, unfortunately it's really really late now so I will finish the vlog here for today and I will show you the Easter eggs and how Italians celebrate Easter in my next video. I wish you all a lovely day or evening wherever you are in the world. Love you all! Bye bye!